Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another tutorial video with me, Devin Soy. Today, I'm going to be potentially fixing a problem for you guys. The problem of which is a super slow computer. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't want a slow computer, right? Nobody wants a slow computer. And to fix that, there, may, there are two or three things you can do on your machine two or three uh, potential fixes that are easy to do that can really really fix uh, your machine now first things first you need to go ahead and uninstall any apps you don't know and this is uh, considering that this is your uh, your computer now you can just search uninstall in the Windows tab and click on add or remove programs and you see you, if you if you have a really old computer, you most likely have also downloaded the millions of of apps such as these on your machine. Now, you see here, you can just go down here, and uh, if you find a program that you don't know, like if it's a really sketchy program, and it'll it'll show if it's a sketchy program, like um. Like what is this Infinity Wii mod? I mean, I know what it is. It's the cheating games, right? But let's say you don't know what this is. Uh, you just simply click on install, and it uninstalls for you, obviously. And essentially, once okay, this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. March of Empires Warlords. I'm gonna click uninstall, uninstall, uninstall that crap, right? You don't want any of these apps that you don't know running on your computer because first of all they could be a virus that's probably why they're slowing down your machine and second of all well they take up storage and therefore and they take up also a lot of processes in your computer so that's not good so that's the first thing you can do alright once you have done that I recommend restarting your computer doing all that crap next this is also extremely extremely important and this is the one thing that's really really going to change the speed of your machine you need to remove all of those pesky startup programs startup programs are programs that once your computer boots up tons of uh, programs start running and those programs really slow down your machine it's like your brain trying to think of millions of things at once it's not gonna work you can only focus on one thing at a time so if you're an old machine it's most likely like that so to fix all these starter programs you right click on the taskbar or you can do control alt delete and click on task manager and that'll bring you here to the task manager bar yours will look like this you click on more details and then you click on the startup button and you see your machine will most likely look like this where you have tons and tons of programs enabled here and these are all enabled by um, verified sources like Spotify like let's say you want to keep that enabled alright keep it enabled right but some of these things like Java update schedule scheduler I mean although it's useful why like why would you want to update Java all the damn time you know so just disable that crap and what else have we got here see these are the big ticket items like this app called discord has a high startup impact which means it'll slow down your computer the most when you boot it up just click disable and remove that and if you really really want to speed up your computer just disable all of these maybe you want to keep one or two uh, apps then that's okay but most of these you most likely won't need or you will click to open by your own so there you go now after you've done that there's one more step and that is to let's say if most of the time that will be enough but if you want to really speed up your computer even more and make sure that it's up to top speed and again this will affect your machine a ton if uh, if you have all of these enabled if you don't have all those enabled and if you don't haven't uninstalled that many apps then it's most likely another issue on your computer or sometimes your computer is just slow I mean can't really help out with that but 
what you can do is you can search for CC Cleaner and this is a very very amazing uh, program CC Cleaner es essentially scans your computers for uh, anything that may potentially slow it down and removes them essentially and it's uh, completely safe because it doesn't remove any uh, files that are bad on your computer so here we are you go to ccleaner.com you click on free download and you don't need the professional versions don't forget about that and then you just click on download alright and then it'll just uh, download here you just click on keep I'm not gonna download it because I already uh, have that on my machine but once that is downloaded you simply set that up and then you're set now we go and we open CCleaner right here uh, it says a new version available for download click no because you have the free version and then you just click on run cleaner and yes click continue and this will just clean up all of the bad stuff and keep in mind that your browser will be closed for this because it is also going to going to delete the cache and all that um, all the things on your browser that are bad for the computer so there we go once the cleaning is complete it'll tell you how much it cleaned up after all this is done you can simply close all those uh, other uh, activities and you can restart your computer and your computer should hopefully become a lot faster now if you tried these three things and there is still a problem I recommend just resetting uh, I re recommend creating a backup of your files and and then just completely resetting Windows and to do that you click on reset you search reset in the Windows you click on reset this PC I'm not gonna do this but you simply go to that and then you click get started and you can choose to keep your files but if you keep your files it won't really change much because the files that might slow down your computer are still still might be there so I recommend creating a backup of all the files that you need on a separate hard drive and then thereafter removing everything and completely rebooting Windows this doesn't remove your Windows copy it simply um, creates a whole new version of Windows with that license still intact. So, if nothing else works, this is kind of like the nuclear option. You can just click on this. And if that doesn't work, then it's most likely going to be your computer simply uh, has a really slow CPU. It might be a computer from 2006. You know, those are pretty slow. So, Anyways guys, hope this helped out. Um, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, you know, all the normal stuff. And don't forget to leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And maybe I could use some new video tips. You know, I go off your guys' suggestions. So if you have anything, please let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. And see you later. Beep!